Good evening, everyone. This is Robert. RJL Network presents another exciting edition of Inside Pitch. The 1972 final week is on the air. Today's date is September 28, 72. We are at Tiger Stadium, a very big game in the American League East between the New York Yankees and the Detroit Tigers. The final week's a little different than the regular season we usually do. Instead of one game per three days of baseball, it is now one game per one day of baseball. So we do a game and then we do the 10-minute ticker just for that day. And then after the 10-minute ticker, we will choose the next game, okay, for tomorrow's broadcast. Games are no longer chosen and um, uh, pre-scheduled uh, for this final week, so we can try to get the most important game to play. And I usually do like to move around still. I don't want to always stick with one or two teams. But we usually try to get it because 10-minute ticker, because fast score still has to complete the mid, still has to complete the season. So that is how we will do here. So it is a final week. And, of course, this week does go into October. I will not be taking a month break like I usually do in between the months. It's a straight seven days. So we do the final week. We're about to end the 1972 regular season. Speaking of that, let's take a look at the standings. Uh, today's game, of course, the, the Yankees come into this game a record of 79 and 70. They qualify. Tigers 77 and 72. They do not officially qualify yet. They still need at least one more win. But we'll see what happens here. Boston, a four and a half game lead on the American League East. A win by the Red Sox and a loss by both the Yankees and the Orioles will give the Red Sox the division. The Orioles do not play on the 28th, so the best the Red Sox can do pretty much is really stay where they're at. The Detroit Tigers are in fourth place, but only two games back of Baltimore and the Yankees. The Yankees have a better board record for the reason why the Yankees are the fourth seed and Baltimore is the fifth seed. In the American League West, the Oakland Athletics, they have clinched home field throughout the American League. Kansas City has not clinched third as of yet, as the Yankees and Baltimore are still chasing the Royals for that very important three spot, which puts you automatically in the division series. You do not have to play in the wild card series. The reason why the Chicago White Sox are featured, they are on a they are on a tear lately, and the White Sox are now only four games under 500. And the only way they can clinch, because everybody else is pretty much out. The White Sox cannot lose any games. 77 is the magic number for the White Sox. They go to 77 losses. They will be out in the National League. The Pittsburgh Pirates, they have already clinched the National League East. The Cubs are definitely the three on uh, second place. The Cardinals, however, their non-magic number is 78. They get to 78 losses. The Cardinals will not get in. Okay, but the Cardinals, however, are still only one game over 500. So the Cardinals still have to win games in order to still clinch a playoff spot. They get up, they get above 500. The Cardinals, they finish above 500. The Cardinals are in. In the National League West, the Cincinnati Reds have clinched the NL West. The Astros, they are right now. The magic number for the Cubs to clinch the number three spot is three. So. If the Cubs clinch the number three, they will automatically play in the National League Division Series, and it would be against the Cincinnati Reds, since the Pirates have already clinched home field throughout, okay, in the National League. The Pirates do have a 5-1 and one board record over Oakland, so right now the Pirates have home field throughout at this time. The Dodgers, they are two games under 500, but are still alive. Their, their non-magic number is 77. They lose one more game. They are out. And we will only have two teams from the National League West. It is pretty possible we may only have one wild card game. The Yankees and the Orioles, okay, are going to clinch. They are going to get, they've not officially clinched a playoff spot yet, but they are going to clinch. Because they are above 500, they will get in. Or at least one of these three teams will get, as long as the Tigers, I can't say New York and Baltimore will get in yet, because the Tigers are right behind them. So it is very possible we may only have one wild card game to play, and then go in the division series. 
Very possible. Brian B., Phoenix Knight, John Haverly, Jeremy Brooks, Doug Sessoms, Chuck Rawlings, and Brian Patterson are first to join us here at Tiger Stadium. Uh, the Yankees historically uh, won this game. The Yankees, three runs, ten hits in an error. The Tigers, two runs, ten hits in an error. But we will see what inside pitch has to say. So I'm now giving you all the aspects of the final week. Only four, three other games are played today on September 28th. We will choose a game to play tomorrow after the 10-minute ticker. This is a very big game for the Tigers. They are two games back of third place. The Yankees trying to barely stay ahead for a shot at the National at the American League East, but I think the Red Sox are going to clinch that division in maybe a couple of days. But let's get started for tonight's game. Starting pitcher for the Detroit Tigers tonight is Mickey Lolich. 21, 22 wins, 14 losses. A 2-5-0 ERA, 250 strikeouts and 69 walks. Lolich was pretty much the ace of the Tigers in 72. And Duck Sesame said he just ordered your 72 season last night. Oh, okay. That is awesome. That is awesome. I thank you very much. And I hope, as I said, please take your time with learning the game. Once you get it, it flows very smoothly. So. Let's play some baseball. Let's go to the top of the first inning. Leading off for the Yankees, second baseman Horace Clark. A 241 average, three homers, and 37 RBIs. Tiger Stadium was pretty much a – that's going to be taken care of by – I don't know who's going to get that. Tiger Stadium, pretty much a hitter's park. 135 home runs, uh, pretty much a hitter's park and 72. And nothing across, by the way, in adjustments. So it is straight it is straight batter card. We're going to use blue, white, and white dice. Tigers are the home team. If everybody is all set and ready to go, seven days left in the 72 season. The postseason is around the corner. Oh, boy. What a fun season. What a fun postseason that's going to be. But let's get the final week going. First pitch. Lolich, 3-6. That's blank. Clark, 2-5, and that's a power hit to center field. That's a 5, and against the le lefty, Clark is going to lead off with a double. A leadoff double for Horace Clark, and he'll hold at second base. And now we'll bring up the left fielder, Roy White. I think an underrated, an underrated player. 270 average, 10 homers, 54 RBIs in 72. Clark on at second, and he will stay where he is. Lolich, 6-3, wild pitch. 15 is too high, ball one. 4-2, strikeout, four, swing and a miss, struck the mound. First strikeout for Lolich. And now here comes the center fielder, Bobby Mercer, another underrated player. 292 average, 33 homers, 96 RBIs. Pretty much played in almost every game for the Yankees in 72. And nothing on Strat. Clark will stay where he is. Lolich, 1-4. That is a blank. Mercer, 6-3. And that's a pop out to second base. And that's going to be Dick McAuliffe making that play. And that is out number two. Next up will be the right fielder, Felipe Alou. 278 average, six homers, 37 RBIs. He's in right field tonight. You're doing some baseball maintenance tonight, sorting some 2015 payoff pitch. Yeah, you got a lot of work to do there, Mr. Knight. Strategy roll. That's a 20. Lolich actually turns around, fires the second. Nope. Clark will get back. Lolich will pitch. Lolich. 5-1. Uh, strikeout. Two. Swing and a miss. Struck the mound. And the inning is over. No runs and a hit. No runs and a hit for the Yankees. And we will go to the bottom of the first. <sighs> Starting pitcher for the New York Yankees tonight is Mel Stottlemyer. I don't think we've seen him this year. 14 wins, 18 losses, a 3-2-2 ERA, 110 strikeouts and 72 walks. A losing record, but a 3-2-2 ERA again tells me he didn't get much run support when he pitched. Leading off of the Tigers will be the second baseman, Dick McAuliffe. 240 average, 8 homers, 30 RBIs. Stottlemyre will go ahead and pitch. 
Stottlemyre, 1 5. Blank. McAuliffe, 4 3. And that's a power hit to left field. That's a one. It's going to be a base hit. So McAuliffe goes ahead and he'll lead off with a single. And now we will see the right fielder, Mr. Tiger himself, Al Kaline. Hall of Famer? Yes. One of the greatest of all time? Yes. 313 average, 10 homers, 32 RBIs in 72. Infield a double play. McAuliffe is staying put. Stottlemyre, 1 5. That's a flank. K line, 6 1. That's a ground out right to the pitcher. 4 3 3. And let's see, McAuliffe for righty. So second baseman is pivot, and that is Clark. It's a zero, a one to three. Nope, it's a six. It's a slow roller to McCall to Stottlemyre. And he's not, he, he looks at second base, but decides to take the shore out at first, and that's going to be out number one. McAuliffe will go ahead to second on a ground out to the pitcher. And the next batter will be the catcher, Duke Sims. Sims started the season with the Los Angeles Dodgers. He is now on the Tigers. 241 average, six homers, and 30 RBIs in 72. Infield is back. And nothing on the 16. McAuliffe stays where he is. Stottlemyre, 3 4. Wild pitch, possible pass ball. Munson's pass ball rating is a four. And he'll make the play, and that'll be ball one instead. Stottlemyer will do it again. 5-6. Range play at the park. Tiger Stadium. 5-6. It's a ground ball to first base. That ball is hit to, to John Ellis, and he was lousy over there. His range is a 1. That's going to be way. They had no chance of getting that one, and that is going to be a base hit for Sims. Will it score McCullough? Base runner two, uh, second to home. No, he will not. He will hold it third. So Sims gets the first base. But the Tigers have something going on here early in the game. As I know, Chuck Rawlings chewing on his Tigers in a pretty much a big, a big game for the Tigers. Infield coming in. Next batter for the Tigers will be the first baseman, Norm Cash. A 259 average, 22 homers, 61 RBIs, and 72. Strategy roll. Nothing on the 12. Sims will stay right where he is. Stottlemyre, 6-2. Possible error. Cash, 5-5. Five, five. That's a fly ball hit the right field. Going after it is Felipe Alou. His error rating is a zero. He's going to make the catch for out number two. Cash, sacrifice fly of one. Will not bring a McAuliffe that way. McAuliffe, base runner two. Right fielder Alou plus one, a one to three, McCulloch will score, and it's a six. Oh, boy, McCulloch being sent. Here comes the throw by Alou, a one to two. There could be a play. No, McCulloch will put on the brakes and head back. So McCulloch will stay back at third base as a very good throw by Felipe Alou. Keeps McCulloch from scoring. And now we'll see the left fielder, Willie Horton, 231 average, 11 homers, and 36 RBIs. So runners at the corners here, no score early on. Nothing on the eight. Stottlemyre will pitch. Stottlemyre, 6-4. Home run chance. Righty, 1-13. to The 16 is too high. Horton, 3-3, and instead he grounds it to short. Over there is going to be Gene Michael. He's got it. He's going to throw to second against Sims, and the inning is over. Wow, that's a chance for the Tigers by the board. No runs on two hits. No score after one. Seven days left in this 72 season. Boy, it went quick. Top of the second. Leading off for the Yankees will be the captain and the catcher, Thurman Munson. Put him in the Hall of Fame anyway. 280 average, 7 homers, 46 RBIs, because he was going to get in the Hall of Fame. Lolich will pitch. Lolich, 3-6. That's a blank. Munson, 3-2. Base hit. Right field, and Munson gets a single. I don't think you guys have a problem if I think if you if we should put does anybody does anybody here really have a problem if Munson is not put uh, Munson be in the Hall of Fame? I, I think he should be. Put him in anyway. 
That'll bring up the first baseman, John Ellis, a 294 average, five homers, 25 RBIs, and 72 for the Yankees. Ellis is at first base today. Infield a double play. And Munson staying put. Lowlitz with the pitch. 2 1, possible error. Ellis, 2 2. That's a power hit to center field. That's a 17. That's going to turn out to be a fly out to center. But the center fielder going after it is Jim Northrup. His error rating is an eight. And he'll make the catch. And that's out number one. Nice play by Jim Northrup. Has no error out there. And he just missed a triple. Next batter is the third baseman, Celerino Sanchez. 248 average and 22 RBIs in 72. Is Munson going to do anything? And he actually, nope. Uh, they get the hit and run, but I'm not going to hit with Munson. I'm not going to hit and run with, actually, well, actually, a hit and run with Celerino Sanchez might not be a bad idea. He does strike out, though. And Lolich is a good strikeout pitcher. I'll swing. Lolich, 2-5. Uh, that's a pitcher result. Righty is an automatic blank. Sanchez, 2-4. That's a fly out to center field. And this time, Northrup will make it even easier. And that is out number two. And now the shortstop, Gene Michael, future manager. 233 average, a homer, and 32 RBIs. Munson on it first. Anything on the strategy? That's a one. Now, Munson gets the steal sign, but I'm not sending him. Munson says, just let Michael swing the bat. Lolich, 5-3, strikeout, 20, no way. Michael, 4-1, and that is a ground out to third. And that's going to be handled there by Aurelio Rodriguez. He's going to throw to second to get Munson, and that will end. And that will end the inning. No runs and a hit for the Yanks. And we go to the bottom of the second inning. Leading off for the Tigers will be the center fielder, Jim Northrup. He's in center field tonight, not his best position. A 261 average, eight homers, and 42 RBIs. And Northrop with 426 at bats. It's probably going to be the starting, be a starting outfielder. Just don't know where I'm going to put him yet, but we'll see if he gets there. Stottlemyre the pitch. 3-3. Three, three, that is a blank. Northrop, 1-1. One, one, pop out the second base. And that will be Horace Clark uh, making the catch in the infield. And now the third baseman, Aurelio Rodriguez, 236 average, 13 homers, 56 RBIs in 72. Stottlemyre, 1 2, strikeout, 16. Uh -uh. Rodriguez, 5 6, ground out to second base. Once again, Clark is going to get to that one. He will toss it over for out number two. And now we'll see the shortstop. Ed Brinkman, a 203 average, six homers and 49 RBIs and 72. Stottlemyre, 6-4. Home run chance. Righty, 1 to 13. The one is good. Against the right-handed pitcher, Brinkman needs a six. Does he put the Tigers on the board? Not quite. Brinkman, 1-4, but he will get a base hit to left field. So Brinkman does keep the inning alive. That will be a single. And now the Tigers will send up the pitcher, Mickey Lolich, an 067 average, so really not a threat to do anything. Brinkman will stay where he is. Stoudemire, 5 2, walk three, he walked him. Stoudemire walked Lolich. He must have gotten a lot of walks. His walk rating of 22. Wow, he walks Lolich. So now runners at first and second, a chance for McAuliffe. You walk the pitcher. McAuliffe got a base in his first time up. Brian Hoxie joins us here at Tigers Stadium. So two men down here. Strategy roll. Nothing on the 12. Stoudemire walks the pitcher. Kind of unbelievable, but he does. And he'll pitch to McAuliffe. Stoudemire, 6-3. That is a blank. McAuliffe, 4-5. And that is a ground ball to short. And Gene Michael's going to get that. He's going to throw to second to get Lolich, and that will end the inning. No runs, one hit, one walk, and no score after two. Uh, Doug Sessoms, you said you ordered the 72 season. Uh, why 1972? 
I just want to know uh, why that season. I know a lot of people order certain seasons and such, and of course, I'm doing the 1972 season via the vote from the from last year's selection show. But uh, why 1972? Is there a certain uh, a certain team you have there that you kind of like that year? I always like to ask why a certain why a ch person chooses a certain season to play, whether it's inside pitch or fall classic, stratomatic, anything like that. There, Doug. We go to the top of the third. Leading off for the Yankees will be their pitcher, Mel Stottlemyre. He could hit 200 average and seven RBIs in 72. No score here at Tiger Stadium. A must-win game for the Tigers. Two games back of third place. Lolich, 3-2. Against the right, he walks. Six? No, that's too high. Stottlemyre, 6-3, and he grounds out the third. And Rodriguez will go ahead and get that and toss it over for the out. Next up is Clark. Clark got a double his first time up. Lolich, 6-3, wild pitch, ball one. 3-2, against the switch right, walk, 14 is high. Clark, 2-1, and this time it's a ground out to second base. It'll be Dick McAuliffe getting to that. And he'll toss it over for the out, two down. Here's White. White is 0 for 1. Two men out in a big game here between the Yankees and the Tigers, starting the final week of the 72 season. Lolich, 5 6. Home run chance. Switch right. 1 to 8. The 9 is too high. White, 4 3. And instead, he is going to just ground that to short easily. And Ed Brinkman's going to go ahead and get it. And those are three straight ground outs. And the Yankees go one, two, three. Bottom of the third. As Sesame says, I am an athletic. Ah, so he is an Oakland athletic fan. Okay. Got an eight. We have an A's fan in the uh, in the chat. And I'm pretty sure that means I'm sure Doug Sesame is definitely looking forward to this postseason. Since Oakland did win the American League West, and they are the number one seed in the American League. Should be very interesting to see how inside pitch does this postseason of mine. At least for 19, at least for 1972. Al Kaline will lead off for the big D's 0 for 1. Bottom of the third, no score, plus inspiration from the replay. Well, you're very welcome there, my good. Thank you very much, sir. And you're very welcome. Stottlemyre, 1 5. That is a blank. K line, 3 1. Ground out to third base. It will be Celerino Sanchez tossing it over. Next batter is Sims. Sims got a base hit his first time up. Stottlemyre, 1 1. Blank. Sims, a 2 3. And that's a ground out to second base. Horace Clark will go ahead and toss it over. Next batter is Cash. Doug Hunt joins us here at Tiger Stadium. Cash is 0 for 1. Stottlemyre, 1 3, strikeout 4, swing and a miss, struck him out. And that will end the inning. That is the first strikeout for Stottlemyre. And the Tigers go 1 2 3 in this inning. No score after 3. Top of the fourth. And leading off for the Bronx Bombers will be Bobby Mercer, and he's 0 for 1. Lolich will go ahead and deal. Lolich, 2 4. Walk, 14. That is high. Mercer, 4 5, and that is a fly ball to center field. And Northrup will come under it and grab it easily for the out. Alou is next. Alou is 0 for 1. Lolich. A 2-6. That's at the park. Tiger Stadium. 4-4. Four, four. That's a fly ball to right field. Al Kaline's going to get near the line, but he'll have plenty of room to make the catch. Here's Munson. Munson got a base in his first time up. Brian B says going to be Pirates versus Oakland. Oakland wins four games to two, just like my rig 72 season was. Lolich. 6-5. Against the righty. It's a blank. Munson, 2-5, and that's a fly ball hit to right field as well. And once again, K-Line is going to get there. 
And he will put it away for the out. One, two, three, go the Yankees. Still no score going the bottom of the fourth inning. Willie Horton hears a who. He will lead off. Starting the bottom of the fourth inning. Stottlemyer. And it is a 1-5. That is a plank. Horton, 5-2. And that's a ground out to third base. And Celerino Sanchez will get it. That is out number one. Yes, Mel Stottlemyre was the pitching coach for the 1986 New York Mets. And I like to credit Mel Stottlemyre with ruining Dwight Gooden. And if you guys want to know why I say that, read The Bad Guys 1 by Jeff Perlman. It'll completely explain why Mel Stottlemyre ruined Dwight Gooden. Northrop is up next. He's 0 for 1. Stottlemyre, 2 1. Walk, 4. Ball, 4. Northrop will draw the base on balls. And that is the second walk given up by Stottlemyre. It'll bring up Rodriguez. He's 0 for 1. Infield is at double play. And strategy. And that is a 10, Northrop saying put. Stottlemyer, he'll go ahead and he will pitch. Stottlemyer, 5-6, range play at the park. Tiger Stadium, 5-4. That's a ground ball to short. That ball is hit to Gene Michael. He wasn't bad. His range is a 4, but a double play, it's a 3. And he's got it. 2-2-3. Two, two, Second base pivot, Clark 0. 1-3, double play. Side retired. What a play by Gene Michael on a big time range play. He gets it, throws to second, throws to first, and the Tigers are done. Uh, nothing across except a walk, no score. After four, I made a run. As after further review, with Steve Tower joins us here at Tigers Stadium. For those of you who do not know who Stuart with Steve Tower is, I would like to ask you what universe you've been living in. If you are part, if you are from the multiverse, if you're another from a, from a multiverse, okay, that doesn't know who Steve Tower is, I suggest you just please check out that amazing channel. We go to the top of the fifth. Need to get your hands on one of the sweet play mats. They're very. This is very nice. I think I did a good job. I might be ordering another one. The simple reason is I like to get this. This one is good. I think I could have done a better job with the with the uh, with the artwork. So I may, not them, but me. I think I may order a second one, and we'll see what happens here. Top of the fifth inning, and let's see what we got here. Lola's back on the mound, and John Ellis leads off for the Yankees. He is 0 for one. Fans here at Tiger Stadium were wondering who's going to break through in this. In this pitching matchup so far, uh, the combined ERA of these two is 5.7. So I'm not, I'm getting, I was expecting a pitcher's duel tonight. 4 2, strikeout 9. Cody got him, struck him out. And that is strikeout number three for Lolich as Ellis will go down. It'll now bring up Sanchez. Sanchez is 0 for 1 as Phoenix Knight doesn't um yeah. Well, Ink Gaming made this mat for me. Remember, I had to send them the artwork, but they made the mat. Then I had to then I had to cut it. Because they cannot do mats this size. So I asked them to do the mat the same size as my actual board, and then I would cut the mat myself, which I did. As Phoenix Knight doesn't like pitching matchups, I guess. Here's Sanchez, he's 0 for 1. Lolich, 2-6. That's at the park. Tiger Stadium, 1-5. That's a power hit to center field. That's a 5, and that's going to be a single. Sanchez will get a base hit. And with a runner on first, here's Michael. Michael 0 for 1, infield double play. Sanchez had no stolen bases, and Lolich not doing anything. No pitch. Lolich, 4-5, strikeout, 20, no way. Michael, 4-2, base hit right past third, and that is a single. Sanchez will get to second base, and he will put on the brakes there. And now the Yankees have got something coming up, and here comes Stottlemyre, who can hit. Stottlemyre, though, is 0-1. for 1. 
Nothing happening on the stretch. Stottlemyre, he could bunt, but with a 200 average and a runner already at second base, I think you're swinging here. Lolich will pitch. Lolich, 1-3, strikeout, 6, swing and a miss, struck him out. And that is the fourth K for Lolich. He did have 250 of them in 72, which is pretty darn good. And now a chance for Clark. Clark is one for two with a double. Anything on the strategy? Nothing happening there. Lolich will go ahead and deal. Lolich, 5-5. Five, five. That is a blank. He's not tired. Clark, 1-5. And that is a ground ball to first base. Norm Cash will get to it. He'll take it to the bag himself. And uh, that'll end the inning. No runs. Two hits for the Yankees. But they can't bring in anybody. And we'll go to the bottom of the fifth here in a pitcher's duel on this first day of the final week. Stottlemyre gets back on the mound. And it will be Ed Brinkman coming in for Detroit, one of the heroes of that game against the Red Sox a couple of days ago. Heck of a game that was. Definitely a game of the year candidate. Stottlemyre, 3-4, wild pitch, ball one. 5-3 against the righty. Strikeout, 13, no way. Brinkman, a 6-6, six, six, and that's a ground ball hit the third base. And Sanchez will range over a bit and get it for the out. Here's Lolich. Lolich walked his first time up. Stottlemyre, a 6-6, six, six, that's a blank. Lolich, a 3-3, three, three, and that's grounded right back to Stottlemyre. He'll go ahead and take care of that, and he'll underhand it to first. And give Lolich a stare saying, you know what? As Stottlemyre looks at Lolich and says, maybe you need a designated hitter. Maybe you need a DH. Next batter is McAuliffe. McAuliffe is one for two with a single. Stottlemyre. A 3-1 walk. 17. That will miss. McAuliffe. 6-2. Base hit. He'll hit that one in the center. And McAuliffe keeps seeing a lie. That's the second hit of the game for McAuliffe. But the Tigers, so far, nobody seems to want to cross the plate. Here is K-Line. K-Line is 0 for 2 for Mr. Tiger. McAuliffe, he is staying right where he is. Stottlemyre will go ahead and deal with K-Line. Fans here at Tiger Stadium hoping for a big hit. Stottlemyre, 4-3. Error on a throw. K-Line, 5-4, and that is a ground ball to first base, and that ball is hit to John Ellis. His error rating is a 9. That's an 18. He won't make an error. He gets it. Stottlemyre will come on over. He'll receive the throw, and that will end the inning. No runs in a hit for the Tigers. Stays no score after 5. We go to the top of the sixth. Leading off of the Bombers will be Roy White, and he is 0 for 2. Lolich will go ahead and deal. Lolich, 2-1, possible error. White, a 5-4. That's a fly ball hit to right field. Going after that is Al Kaline. His error rating is a 2, and he almost trips, but he makes the catch. That's a 3. He'll make the play, and that's out number 1. That was close. The only way he would have made an error on that one would be a one, because it has to be an odd number on a flyout, but K-Line does make the catch. Here's Mercer. Mercer is 0 for 2. Lolich, a 3-1 against the lefty. It's a blank. Mercer, 1-1, one, one, ground out the shortstop, taken care of there by Brinkman. And over to first he goes, two down. And now Alou. Alou is 0 for 2. Another rhyme. Lolich with the deal. Lolich, 4 2, strikeout 8. That will miss. Alou, 3 5, and that's a fly ball to center field. And Jim Northrup says he's got it. And he will. And that is a 1 2 3 inning. Rapidly moving game here, 34 minutes into stream. And the last time I said that, the last game went two hours. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning. 
I really should keep my mouth shut. Leading off for the Tigers will be Duke Sims. Sims is one for two. Sims played a lot of games with the Tigers, but I know Bill Freehand should be fine for the postseason if the Tigers get there. Stoudemire, 6-1, blank. Sims, 2-6, fly ball, right field. Felipe Alou will come in a bit and grab it for the out. Next is Cash Me Outside. He's 0 for 2. Stoudemire. 4-2, strikeout, 5, swing and a miss, struck him out. And that is the second strikeout for Stottlemyre. He had 110 of them that year. Here's Horton. Horton is 0-2. Stottlemyre with the pitch. 5-6, range play at the park. Tiger Stadium, 3-5, and that is a ground ball to third. It's a range play, however. For Celerino Sanchez. His range is a three. Nope, that's going to be a base hit, and it will go down the line and into the corner. Horton will wind up at second base with a two out double. As Sanchez just couldn't get to that. And now a big run at first base, the way this game is going. And now a chance for Northrop. Northrop is 0 for 1 with a walk. Stottlemyre. He will deal with Horton will stay where he is. Fans there at Tiger Stadium hoping Jim Northrup can come through with a big hit. No score. Bottom of the sixth inning here. Stottlemyre, 5-4. That is a range play. Northrup, 3-2. Ground ball to third once again. And once again, it's a chance for Celerino Sanchez. He's going after it. His range is a three. This time he's got it. What a play by Sanchez. He gets up and throws to first, and that will end the inning. So he misses one range play, but he probably made the bigger one there. No runs and a hit. No score after six. You kind of think it's going to be a home run that's going to win this game for somebody? There's going to be a mistake made. We're pretty, we may just be sure. We'll go to the top of the seventh. No score. What a game to start the uh, to start the final week. Here comes the captain, Thurman Munson, and he's one for two with a single. Lolich, he'll go ahead and pitch. Lolich, 5-4. That's at the park. Tiger Stadium, 1-5. Power hit to center field. That's a 13, and that's just going to get in there, and Munson is going to wind up on third with a leadoff triple. Munson gets a leadoff triple. He will slide into third. And now the Yankees got something going on. Runner on third base, infield in for Ellis. Ellis is 0 for 2. A big chance for the Yankees. That is a 1. Uh, Munson staying where he is. But now Munson on at third base with a big-time triple. Lolich will go ahead and pitch to Ellis. Fans here at Tiger Stadium hoping Lolich can now bear down and get an out. 6-3. Wild pitch. No. Ball one. The 16 is high. Lolich. 3-5. Strikeout. 19 is high. Ellis. 6-4. And against the lefty. It's a ground ball to short. On the infield in, Munson's base running rating is a 1. They're going to keep him there. The, with, with nobody out, they'll keep him there. The throw will go to first to get the out for Ellis, and that is one down. A nice play there by Brinkman, who was in, and he'll go ahead and take the shore out. The infield will still stay in for Sanchez. Sanchez is one for two. Munson on at third. Lolich will pitch to Sanchez, or will he? We are in the seventh inning here. Let's see if the Yankees want to do anything, although they really don't have any other starters. He could bring in Bernie Allen, but he's pretty much the same. McKinney. Lanier. Sanchez will stay in there. Strategy roll. Nothing on the 16. Lolich will go ahead and pitch to Sanchez. Lolich, 6-5 against the righty. It's a blank. Sanchez, 6-6. And that is a ground ball to short. 
And that ball again, a chance for Thurman Munson. Munson again, his base running rating is a one. With the infield in, you got Gene Michael batting. I kind of think maybe you may. I think you hold him, and I think you take the shore out at first, out number two, and that's exactly what they're going to do. So they're going to hold Munson. They're not going to send him. They're going to give one because you really don't want to get the short. You want to go ahead and get maybe a better chance. And here comes Michael. Michael is one for two with a single. So runner, a leadoff triple, but the Yankees are still not getting him in. Lowlitz will pitch to Michael. Nothing on the 19. Lowlitz will pitch. Lowlitz, one, two. Error on a throw. Michael, one, six. That is a ground ball to second base. And that ball is hit to Dick McAuliffe. His error rating is an 8. That is an 11. He won't make an error. He will throw to first and retire the side. No runs and a hit. A leadoff triple by the Yankees. And they cannot get Munson in. Stadium cheers. Yay! And we are at the seventh inning stretch. Sing, take me out to the ball game. I'll be right back. Don't forget, we still have 10-minute ticker, although a very short one tonight. And then we will choose our game for tomorrow, September 29th. So don't, uh, don't go away, as I don't know yet what our game will be, but we will decide after the ticker. And I've already pretty much decided on three games that we can play. Uh, I really want to play games where the teams are fighting for their playoff lives. I really don't want to play teams that are pretty much already in there. The games I'm looking at tomorrow are Boston at Baltimore, uh, St. Louis at the Cubs, or the Dodgers and the Reds. So we'll see what happens. We'll make that decision. And uh, if we have to let the dice decide, we'll do so. Bottom of the seventh here, uh, both pitcher, Mel Stottlemyre, can pitch for 30 batters. And he still has four left in the tank. Lolich can still go away himself. So Mel Stoudemire comes up the mound here. No score. Bomb in the seventh inning. Another game where nobody has scored late. Here's Aurelio Rodriguez. He is 0 for 2. Someone is going to have to break through here. Someone's going to hit a bomb. I could probably feel it. I just don't know who. Stoudemire, 1-5. Walk. It's a blank. Rodriguez, 6-4. And Rodriguez leads off with a double into left field. So now the Tigers get a go-ahead run to lead off the inning. So Rodriguez gets it as the Rodriguez gets a hit, double. And now the batter is Brinkman. And the infield is normal. Now Brinkman, however, a 203 average. But the September call-ups, do we have another shortstop available? I don't think so. I think. Oh, we do. We have John Gamble. He only played in six games, though, and his ER and his average is lousy. As a as a um, no, nah, I'm gonna I'll let Brinkman stay in. Rodriguez on at second base. Strategy roll. Nothing on the 14. You vote Dodgers or Reds? Of course, no. Nah, you don't. Last chance to see Dodgers. No, that's not the reason why you want to see them. Rodriguez on at second base. Stottlemyre. A 3-3. Three, three. That is a blank. He is not tired. Brinkman, 4-6. And that's a ground ball hit the shortstop handled by Gene Michael. Throw goes to first. Rodriguez, he will make third. He will make third. 
And now the batter is Mickey Lolich. Decision time here. Lolich can still pitch to four more batters before he is get before he is fatigued. Actually, I'm sorry, no, more, my, my bad. My bad. He can pitch to six more batters before he is fatigued. Stottlemyre. He can pitch to four more. I wonder if you I, I just think you got a runner at third base. Lolich, would do you try it? Do you well let's see what the strategy. I don't know. What do we do here? Chuck Rollins says, let Mickey hit. <sighs> Strategy roll. That's a 20. Stoudemire throws to the catcher. The catcher throws to third to try to get Rodriguez. He's safe. Now Stoudemire will go ahead and pitch to Lolich. Chuck Rollins says, let Mickey hit. Okay. Stoudemire. 5-6. That's a range play at the park. And that's big because that comes off the Tiger Stadium uh, card. Maybe Rollins was right. Tiger Stadium. 3-3. Three, three, and it's a ground ball. To, that's a ground ball to first base. The infield, of course, would be in on that play, even though I didn't call it. Ground ball to first. Rodriguez's base running rating is a 1. With the infield in, they'll t I'm not going to send them. Lola will be out. Nice. Nice try there. Was that a range play at the park? Was that a ground? Was that a regular at the park? I could be wrong there. Wait a second. Was that a range play at the park? No, no range play at So that was not. So that was. It was a range play or was not a range play? Brian B, that doesn't help me. Was it? I don't remember. Was it a range play or not a range play? It was a range play. Okay, so 3-3 three, three was a ground ball to first, so I got to make a range play. My bad. And that's going to fail on and that's going to fail automatically because the first baseman is John Ellis and his range is a 1. Well, the infield is in, so guess what? It's a base hit from Mickey Lolich. Chuck Rawlings calls it right. I can't – his range is a one, and when you do an infield in, it's a minus two. So it's a minus one. There's no way he can get it. That's going to be a single for Lowich, and the Tigers take the lead. Stadium cheers. Yay! As Dan Atkins and Vita Productions join us here at Tiger Stadium. Thank you. I knew that had – I've read range play. Sometimes I forget. Batter now is McAuliffe as Mickey Lolich comes through. And Mel Stottlemyre said to him earlier, "You maybe you need a DH. And Mickey Lolich goes back to Stottlemyre and says, DH? I don't need no stinking DH. Lolich on at first. Now double play depth. Still one out. McAuliffe is the batter now. He's two for three. Strategy roll. And that's a 13. Lolich will stay put. Stottlemyre will go ahead and pat, pitch. Pat. Stottlemyre, 3 5. Hit by pitch, 7. It's too high. McCulloch, 3 2. And that's a base hit past third. Lolich will hold at second base. McCulloch has his third hit of the game. He's 3 for 4. And now a big opportunity for K line. K line is 0 for 3. Runners at first and second here. Strategy roll again. Nothing on the 10. Stoudemire got to be careful with K-Line. K-Line still very capable of hitting a ball out. Runners at first and second. The fans here at Tiger Stadium now see a 1-0 lead on the scoreboard. Strategy roll. Nothing happening. Stoudemire with the pitch. Stoudemire, 4-2. Strikeout, 8. That is just missed. K-Line. 5-1, it's a power hit to left field. That's a 16, and against the righty, K-Line has done it. That's going to be a triple. It just gets to be a triple. Lowlich will score. McCulloch will score. K-Line to third. 3 nothing Tigers. Stadium cheers. Yay!
K-Line just makes a triple against the Riot. It's a 16 and a 14 to 16 is a triple. And K-Line comes through with a big hit. And now the batter is Sims. And Stottlemyre will pitch to him. But this may be his last batter, though. As it's now 3-0 Tigers. Infield is once again in. And now the Tigers have a 3 nothing lead. Strategy roll still on. Nothing on the 4. K-Line stays where he is. Stottlemyre, 6-2. Possible error. Sims, 5-4. It's a ground ball to second base. That ball is at the Clark. His error rating is a 4. That's a 13. He will not make an error. The infield is in, so K-Line's base running rating is a 0. He can't score, so the throw goes to first for the out. And there are two away. And now the batter is Cash. And that is Stottlemyre due to lead off to the top of the eighth inning. And Cash, he hits righties very well. And I think that's going to be it for Stottlemyre. That's it for Stottlemyre. He will come out of the game. And we may, let's see who they're going to bring in to pitch to Cash. They'll probably bring in the lefty. And let's see who they got here. And it will be coming on to pitch for the Yankees is going to be Wade Blazingame. No wins, a loss, no saves, a 5 6 8 ERA. But Blazingame is in there to get one out. He's there to get it out against Norm Cash in the bottom of the seventh here. A 3 0 lead for the Tigers. Blazingame is there to get one out. K line on at third. Fans here at Tiger Stadium at Sports Time Machine. Utah Mike joins us here at Tiger Stadium and my basement media productions, Dr. Nick. Strategy roll. Nothing on the two. K line will stay put. Blazing game is there. His job is to get one out. Blazing game. 5 1. That's at the park. Tiger Stadium. 1 5. It's a power hit to center field. That's a 7. His job was to get one out. He won't get it. That's going to be a double for Norm Cash. Cash will wind up at second. K line will score. 4 0 Tigers. Stadium cheers. Yay! Blazing Game's job was to, he had one job. He had one job, and he couldn't do it. The batter now is Horton. Blazing Game has to stay in there. I do use the three batter rule. Horton is one for three with a double, as the Tigers have opened it up here in the bottom of the seventh. Cash on at second base. Blazing Game will pitch to Horton. Strategy rolls are now off. Blazing game, 1-6, strikeout plus 10, that's a 12. Swing and a miss, struck him out, and the inning is over. Four runs, five hits. Mickey Lolich comes through with a big RBI single, and then K-Line clears the bases with a triple, and Cash gets an RBI of his own on a double. Four-nothing Tigers after seven. As Chuck Rawlings may have made a, may have made the manager of the year call. Because I really didn't think I was gonna I really if Chuck I'll be Chuck, I'm gonna tell you right now, uh, if you weren't here, I would have pulled him. We go to the top of the eighth. Pinch hitter coming in for blazing game as the Yankees will go to the bench. And let's see who they got. And coming in to bat. Let's see. Hmm. Coming into bat for the Yankees is going to be Ron Bloomberg. 268 average, 14 homers, 49 RBIs. So Bloomberg will go up against Lolich here. Lolich can pitch to six more batters before he tires. Top of the eighth, four nothing Tigers. Lolich, a 5 2 strikeout 11. That is high. Bloomberg, 3-4, and that's a ground out to second base. McAuliffe will go ahead and get to it, and he will throw it over to first for the out. 
Next batter is Clark. Clark is one for three with a with a single. I'm sorry, with a double. Lolich will pitch. Lolich, 2-5. That's a pitcher result. A switch right is an automatic blank. Clark, 5-6. And that's a ground out to shortstop handled by Brinkman. And Brinkman throws it over for out number two. Now the batter is White. White is 0 for 3. Remember, these are the dying days of the pitcher batting the American League. I know that. Last year before the DH. Lolich, 1 2. Error on a throw. White, 1 4. That's a ground ball to third. That ball is hit to Rodriguez. His error rating is a 6. That is a 6. He throws it away, throws it high. Cash at first base. His range is a 3. He leaps. And he'll make the stop, preventing White from going to second base. But that will be an error. E5 on Rodriguez. That is the first error for the Tigers in this game. They did have an error in the game historically. That keeps the inning alive for Mercer. Mercer is 0 for 3. Lolich will now pitch to Mercer. Lolich says, I should be out of this inning. It looks like i got to do it again. Fans here at Tiger Stadium hoping for a big pitch. Strategy rolls are off. Lolich will deal. Lolich, 1-6. That is a range play. Mercer, 3-6. That's a power hit to right field. That is a 19 against the lefty. It's just going to be a fly out to right. But going after it is Al K-Line. It's a range play. K-Line's range in right is a 2. And he's not going to get it. And that's going to be a double for Bobby Mercer. Oh, the error is going to may just hurt. With two outs, White, base runner, four. A double to right, minus one. A one to three, White will score. No, he holds it third as K-Line gets it and throws it into the infield fast enough, and they hold White. As they say, White would have been a dead duck. But now it's a chance for Felipe Alou. Alou is 0 for 3. Now runners at 2nd and 3rd here with 2 outs in the top of the 8th. They go talk to Lolich on the mound. Says, I can get this done. He said, I hope so. He's still looking. He is still looking at Aurelio Rodriguez for making an error. He should be out of the inning. White on at 3rd. Mercer on at 2nd. Lolich will pitch. 5-6. Home run chance against righty. One to eight. The 17 is too high. Alou, two, five, and he grounds it to third. That'll get handled by Rodriguez. He's got it, and he throws to first to get out of the inning. No runs, one hit, one error. But again, the Yankees leave runners on base, and we will go to the bottom of the eighth. Leading off for the Tigers will be Jim Northrup. He will bat. Yankees now got to go to the bullpen. It's a 4 nothing lead. They got a lefty and two righties. So coming on to pitch for the Yankees is going to be Lindy McDaniel. Three wins, a loss, 225 ERA. McDaniel will be the third Yankee pitcher. The question is, does Lolich try to go for the complete game? He is not tired yet. He'll be tired of the next batter. Tigers looking for some insurance. A 4-0 lead here in the bottom of the eighth. McDaniel, 4-1. That's a walk, and the six is going to be ball four. He walks Northrup, and he will trot to first. The batter now is Rodriguez. Rodriguez is one for three with a, du with a double. And in field, let's see here. Infield at double play depth. I don't know why I'm rolling the strat. There is no strat. McDaniel will go ahead and pitch. McDaniel, 6-5 against the righty. Blank. Rodriguez, 6-4. Double into left field for Rodriguez. He hits his second two-bagger of the game. Northrop, a base runner, two. Double to right, a zero, a one to two. Northrop will score. No, he'll hold it third. 
But now the Tigers have a big chance here to get some more runs and try to put this game away. The batter now is Brinkman. Brinkman is one for three. He will bat. Infield is in. Nobody out. Bottom of the eighth inning. Tigers lead 4-0. McDaniel will go ahead and he will pitch. McDaniel, 1-3 against the righty. It's a blank. Brinkman, 1-6. And that is a fly ball to right field. Moises Alou will make the catch. Brinkman, a sacrifice fly of three. He won't bring in Northrop that way. Northrop, base runner two. Right fielder Alou, plus one. A one to three. Northrop will still score. And he will. And the Tigers get some insurance. Stadium cheers. Yay. Sacrifice fly for Brinkman. The next batter is Lolich. I I understand what Chuck Rons is thinking, but you, but now you got a five nothing lead. You know what? Do you want him to bat, or do you want to see if he can go the distance, or do you want to bring in a pinch hitter? He'll be tired after one more batter, Chuck. I'll let you make the call. You made a you made the good call the first time. I'll let you make another one here. So what do you want him to do? Five nothing Tigers. Truck Rawlings says pinch it. That'll be it for Mickey Lolich. As Lo as Rawlings says, that is enough. We'll see a pinch hitter for the Tigers. And it is going to be. It is going to be. Let's see, the eighth inning. So usually. Hmm, uh, yeah, we can go with him. It's going to be Gates Brown. They'll go righty on lefty. 230 average, 10 homers, and 31 RBIs. So Gates Brown will come on and pinch it against McDaniel. 5 nothing Tigers here in the top, in the bottom of the eighth. Rodriguez on at second. McDaniel with the pitch. McDaniel, 3-2. Pitcher result. Lefty, 1-12. Base hit up the middle. That's a 20. It's too high. Brown, 5-3, and he grounds it to second base. That'll be handled by Clark. And Rodriguez will move to third for out number two. Two away. And now here's McCulloch. McCulloch is three for four today. Three singles. He's had a great game. Lola says he's batting a helmet down his 19th set of throwing a shutout, and I get pinch hit for it. Rodriguez on at third, and maybe Brian B. was right, but Chuck Rawlings made the made the call. Chuck Rawlings was right in the last time. McDaniel will pitch to McCulloch. McDaniel, 1-5 against the lefty, strikeout plus 10. Believe it or not, that 19 is too high. McCulloch, 2-6, and that is a fly ball to center. And Bobby Mercer will go ahead and get to it. He'll make the catch. And then the inning, one run, one hit, one walk, a sacrifice fly. Tigers have a 5 nothing lead. But will we see some ninth Yankee magic? Top of the ninth inning, the Tigers know how important this game is. And they're going to go ahead and bring out their main closer. And that is going to be, that's going to be Chuck Seelbach. Nine wins, eight losses, 14 saves, a 2.89 ERA. Seelbach will come on to close, try to get the game over. But he's got to deal with first Thurman Munson. Munson is two for three, a triple and a single. Top of the ninth inning, 5 nothing Tigers. Seelbach will pitch. Seelbach, 3-5, strikeout, one, swing and a miss. Struck them out. And he gets that first important out. The batter now is Ellis, and he will bat. Ellis hits righties pretty well. Ellis, though, is 0-3, but that was because Lolich is a lefty. Seelbach with the pitch. Seelbach, 3-5, strikeout, 10. That missed. Ellis, 
A 5-1 base hit. He'll hit that one past third, and the Yankees will get a man on. Next batter is Sanchez. And let's see what the Yankees want to do here. The Yankees looking at everything, what they want to do. And Sanchez against righty is not that great. Sanchez is going to come out of the game, and coming on to pinch it will be Johnny Collison. So we'll need a third baseman. Johnny Collison, 258 average, nine homers, 34 RBIs. He will go up against Seelbach here. Infield is a double play depth. Ellis on it first, 5 nothing Tigers, one out. Seelbach with the pitch. Seelbach, 5-3 against the lefty. It's a base hit right up the middle. Ellis does not have the speed. He'll hold it second. So bringing in the lefty makes a big difference. The batter now is Michael. Let's see what the Yankees want to do. He's at shortstop. They do have another shortstop. Michael, he will. Mm, he will. He's going to bat. Seelbach will pitch to Michael. Michael did have 391 at bats. That's a lot. So runners at first and second, one out here as the Yankees are threatening to maybe get to maybe at least end the shutout. Seelbach will go ahead and pitch. Seelbach, 1-3, walk, 11. That is too high. Michael, 1-2. It's a line drive to third. That's caught by Horton for out number two. Let's see, a, a one or a two. Ellis and Collison are off the bag. A one or a two, this game is over. No, both get back, two down. A line drive right to third, but both players will get back. And now McDaniel, the batter, will see a pinch hitter for him. And the Tigers are going to go with... They're going to go with Bernie Allen, 227 average, 9 homers, 21 RBIs. Bernie Allen will now pinch it. He's got massive home run power. A home run makes it interesting, but they still got a lot of work to do. Ellis on it second, Collison on it first. The fans here at Tiger Stadium hoping for a big win, and they need this win to try to get closer and hope maybe – and hope – uh, for, some, for some help, because the Tigers are still two back of third place. Ellis at second, Carlson at first, seal back, gets the pitch. 5-3, against the lefty, it's a base hit once again, right up the middle. Ellis will come in to score, Carlson will hold at second base, Allen gets a single, it's 5-1. It's only one out, right? Only one out. I don't know why there's two. Oh, that was a line out. That's right. Line out. Hold on here. Time out. That was a line out. Third. Mark that. Okay. Two outs. So runners at first and second. Now five to one. And now the top of the order. Here's Horace Clark. Seal back. He can pitch to two more batters before he tires. And suddenly, the tying run is on deck. They go talk to Sealback and see what he wants to do against Clark. Clark is one for four. Two outs here on the top of the ninth. The Yankees have gotten a run. It's now 5-1. Fans here at Tiger Stadium, not nerved. They are getting there. But Clark, they, but Sealback knows they just got to get Clark. Sealback, they're going to stick with him. Hiller is warming up in the bullpen. And now they're getting ready to pitch. Sealback will pitch. Sealback, 3-1, strikeout, 16 is high. Clark, 1-2, and it's a ground ball to second base. Dick McAuliffe has got it. He, pick, he picks it up, pumps once, pumps twice, throws to first. That's your game. The Tigers will take a 5-1 victory on the Yankees today. Stadium cheers. Yay! One run, three hits for the Yankees. 
But the Tigers get a huge win. And if anything, they will get at least one game closer to the Yankees if they drop the third, depending on what Baltimore does. But Baltimore doesn't play today. But the Tigers do get a big win on the Yankees. And I think the player of the game is Chuck Rawlings for, for having Mickey Lolich bat in a position where I don't think I would have done it. The player of the game is going to be Mickey Lolich. And he definitely gets it here. What a win for what a win for the Tigers. They needed it big time. And they do get it. Final line score coming up. For the Tigers, five runs, 11 hits, one error. For the Yankees, one run, nine hits, no errors. The winning pitcher, of course, is Mickey Lolich. He gets the win, and it'll be a loss for Mel Stottlemyre. He'll take the loss. Sealback, unfortunately, did give up a run, so he does not get a hold. But it is a win for the Tigers today and a 5-1 victory to start the final week. <laughs> Lolich knocks the bottle of Pepto from Billy's hand <laughs> We're not done A short 10 minute ticker Coming right up Excellent job there Mr. Rawlings Your Tigers may need some more help But we will see what happens here It is now time for the 10-minute ticker brought to you by Fast Score Baseball. A very short 10-minute ticker, actually, as the Tigers will get the victory and go on here. So a very short 10-minute ticker. Let's go ahead real quick with the games that really don't matter. Uh, let's see here. Minnesota at Oakland. Oakland's already clinched. We'll do that one next. Oakland 626, and that is two. Minnesota 626, that's two. Oakland 10, 20, 10 56, and that is six. And the Athletics stay close to the Pirates for a home field throughout. Pittsburgh at Philadelphia. This game actually does have some meaning. Now that the, 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 uh, the Athletics now have 101 wins, Pittsburgh needs a win to stay, to, uh, stay with the number one overall. Pittsburgh, 6-12, and that is zero. Phillies, 5-52, and that is four. Philadelphia beats the Pirates. So at this moment, Oakland has home field throughout. Kansas City at Boston. This is a big game here. The Red Sox, their magic number is two. Kansas City uh, has not clinched third place as of yet, the third seed. Remember, getting the third seed is very important. You avoid the wild card round. So Boston is, they're, they, they did gain, they're now five games ahead of Baltimore. Boston can't clinch, but this is a big game for both teams. Kansas City at Boston. Royals 12-26, and that is three. Red Sox, 12-32, and that is also three. It will go to extras. Kansas City rules a six. Minus one is five. Boston, one. Plus one is two, and that will be a win for the Royals as they will take a little bit of a, long, a larger lead for third in the American League. That is your 10-minute ticker. If your team won tonight, congratulations. If they didn't, there's always tomorrow. Now we choose tomorrow's game. Uh, Milwaukee, Minnesota and California, meaningless. Milwaukee, Detroit, that does mean some for Detroit, but Milwaukee is out. Oakland, Kansas City, both these teams are already in. White Sox and Texas, not interested. Mets and the Pirates, important for the Pirates, Mets are already out. Astros and Padres, Astros are in, Padres are already out. Braves and the Giants. Uh, both these teams were eliminated on Tuesday. So we got Boston and Baltimore, Cardinals and the Cubs, Dodgers and the Reds. Now, Boston at Baltimore. 
Uh, with the Yankees, with the Yankees losing, if Boston wins that game over Baltimore tomorrow, I think they clinch because the Yankees now go to 79 and 71, and Baltimore would go to 79 and 71, and Boston would go to 84 wins, and they did play 155 games. They would clinch the American League West. However, both those teams are going to pr could probably get in. Uh Cardinals and the Cubs. Cardinals are 76 and 75. Um they they are two losses away from seven they are three losses away from 78. Cubs are trying to clinch the 3 spot. And then we have the Dodgers and the Reds. The Dodgers if they lose tomorrow, they're out. And the Reds, they've already clinched the they've already clinched it. So this is a very tight thing. So to be fair, I'm gonna let the dice decide what game we're gonna do. It's three very good games. Either one of the games will be fun to play. I'm gonna let the dice decide the games. All right. So I'm gonna let the dice decide. I will roll. I will roll a D6, and in here, I'll go ahead and state what we got, all right? So I'll let the dice, I will go ahead and let the dice decide. For Boston and Baltimore, and I'll go ahead and get that. One die, and now, one die. That is a one. For Cardinals and Cubs, that is a four. And for the Dodgers and Reds, that is a three, okay? So Boston and Baltimore will not be done. So that game is now eliminated from the roll call. Now it's going to be between the Cardinals and Cubs or the Dodgers and the Reds. I will once again roll a D6 to decide which game it will be. Whoever has the higher game, whoever has the higher roll will be the game we will do. Cardinals and Cubs. That's a five. Dodgers and Reds. That's a six. They will get it. They will get it. We will do that. We will do it. So tomorrow night's game will be at Riverfront Stadium as the Los Angeles Dodgers take on the Cincinnati Reds. Al Downing will be going for the Dodgers. Jack Billingham will go for the Reds. Dodgers lose. They are out because they'll have 77 losses and they will be eliminated. And at least we know that only at least five, no more than five teams in the National League will get in. So Dodgers and Cubs tomorrow night, Al Downing and Jack Billingham at Riverfront Stadium. So be there or be square. Vito Productions, Rick Query. Uh, you missed the game. Did the... Did, the, did your Yankees win? Uh, no. Brian Patterson, Vita Productions. Brian B, Double D, Chuck Rawlings, My Basement Media Productions. Dan Atkins, Sports Time Machine. Jeremy Brooks. And Phoenix Knight, Doug Sessom, Steve Tower. John Haverly. And I think I got everyone. Thank you all for joining me tonight. Please leave a like and the way out with the turnstiles. Subscribe if you're not done so. And make sure you hit the bell. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay smart. Stay strong. We'll see you guys tomorrow night. The Detroit Tigers go ahead and defuse the Bronx Bombers. It's a win for the Tigers over the Yankees tonight. Five to one. And the Tigers are now one game behind the Yankees for third. We'll see you guys tomorrow night.